Here what came from Bimmer World. Here we go, coilovers, ISC suspension. And they're gonna go over there on the end. Let's do this. Hey, a big shout out to Ian Donnell from movingpictures.ca. He happened to catch this image of my car under high cornering condition. And you can see all of the weight transfer that's happening to the outside, um, which is great. But the issue here is there's no <laughs> grip at all on the inside and uh, lots of body rolls. So this is the biggest issue that I have from a performance point of view in my car. And so to solve this, I'm looking for coilovers. And of course, coilovers gets you into um, a whole different range of options. And I'm looking for something that's performance oriented and not necessarily like a, a lowered stance. <laughs> so I've got this performance orientation in mind and budget in mind. So what are the options and what did I choose? Um, I'll go through that in this video. And if you're in Southern Ontario, be sure to check out moviepictures.ca for all your photography needs. Here we go, a little unboxing. Here's the coilover kit. All ready to go on. So Sean says that this doesn't match our color scheme, so I told him we'll just have to add a little bit of gold, i.e. first place, into our racing program. Let's start by going through my buyer journey, if you will. In that image, I was running the Dinans different than Stock Springs, uh, Stock Sway Bars. And I'm not sure what's going to happen with uh, my son's racing journey. Right now, he's in karting and he'll be moving up to cars soon. So you never know, maybe this platform will turn into a full-blown race car. <laughs> so anyway, I'm interested in performance uh, more than, um, you know, street use and, and comfort. Uh, so I started obviously going to Bimmer World. If if the products on Bimmer World, it's it's been you know highly vetted. So I trust what they include on their website, um, as uh, especially as it relates to performance products. And obviously, um, looking at the the race side of it, where it's quite expensive, especially for you know just you know getting into this here. So um, those are not an option for me. But knowing that when you want to get to these um more higher end track performance uh three-way sets this is the price range you're in uh, so then i kind of went to the the bilstein b16s um, you can see the price here on this day is uh, 2000 us and um, this is uh probably a solid entry uh coilover uh, but again uh quite pricey and so i wanted to look at what other options were on this site they also have the kw v2s um, I moved away from these because the price is um, pretty expensive and there's a couple things that I wasn't too sure about in terms of their construction and it's also not a linear spring rate. I was looking for a linear spring rate. Um, and then um, that led me to the ISC N1 track coilover package. They also have a street uh, coilover package. Uh, and this this is the one that I chose at the end. As you can see, the price is uh, quite low, <laughs> uh, which is great. So even if there are problems with it and it does, they don't last me, uh, I can um, swap them out and uh, without losing you know too much money on them. Um, so these this package incidentally uh, does come with adjustable camera plates built in. The uh, I found the. Um, the end links um, were too long, so I had to end, I had to go and get uh, adjustable end links. So the end links with the package for me did not work. So if you do go with this, make sure you have your car under compression and check um, that the end links are not getting in the way. You might need uh, adjustable end links. But if I zoom in a little bit, um, what I liked about this package the most is that, if I'll just zoom in more so you can see, um, what I liked about this package the most is the uh, linear uh, spring rate. 
And so this is uh, 10 kilograms per millimeter in front and 12 kilograms per meter in the rear. That's 560 and 672 pounds uh, per inch <laughs> uh, for uh, for those in the U.S. And this and, and it's linear, and, and that's what I was looking for. Uh, it has 32 adjustable uh, positions for compression and rebound. They're not independently adjusted, so it's a two-way. You can't adjust uh, ride height. And we summarize, if we summarize the Bimmer world view, um, what I like about this is they say that the ISC track coilovers are an excellent option for beginners or, or experienced drivers who recognize the limits of sport coilovers and don't want to break their wallets climbing the performance ladder. That's exactly me to a T. Um, so they've identified me in that case. Uh, and the other piece of this that's important is that from our testing, as we know, they do, they do quite a bit of testing. The ISC suspension greatly reduces body roll, eases weight transfer, and produces razor sharp handling. And those are the exact um, items uh, that I'm looking for. And I can, you know, tell you that um, I have already got them installed and already went on track. And that's exactly what I'm getting. So reduce body roll. Um, the it's just the handling is just so much better uh, with these coilovers, even if it is entry. I can't imagine what you get in the high end package. So let's take a look further. This is a little A-B comparison of the front strut. What a difference in height. The spring is much, much stiffer. Just a quick comparison. The Dinan springs. And the dampers. All right, so we got this bad boy up in place. Comes with new end links. What a difference in terms of uh, height already. It's just totally sick. Okay, so the rears are installed and we've got a baseline height. Okay, so here's how it sits unsettled with the height set so that you can see all of the threads on the coilover. I'm gonna do this product testing on a closed track. I'm not really into this uh, spirited driving on public roads. So join a car club, sign up for an autocross. There's lots of safe ways to try out these products and, and uh, without putting yourself or more importantly others in danger. Turn one at most sport is a blind apex with a vertical drop. You can feel the weight transfer nicely to the outside of the car and the suspension working through the bumps. Uh, car felt very planted compared to stock. Very happy with turn one. Turn two is a massive vertical drop. It's a blind double apex. You come in just over 100 miles an hour. And as you uh, start to feel the compression at the bottom of the hill, you're back wide open throttle. So a real test to the G-forces, really pushing and working the suspension hard. And it was awesome. I felt so much more confident. In general, the body roll and nose diving is gone. And under high G turns, the suspension really made me feel planted in the car as it was working uh, with the dampening, so top notch. So let's do a quick summary review here. So nine out of 10 on features. This package is amazing. So what I like the most is they've got the um, track spring rates that are linear at this, in this price point. The adjustable camera plates also help in terms of that budget entry. I gave a nine out of 10 because the end links didn't fit on my car and my setup. And um, even though, even if they came without end links, I think it's still um, value for money there, which is the second point, 10 out of 10 on price. This is huge value for money for somebody that's looking for a significant upgrade over stock relative to performance without breaking the bank on the high end. So it's great entry level package. Performance, again, 10 out of 10, it solved the problems that I wanted solved, specifically around the body roll, the nose diving and staying planted and it, it exceeded my expectation. So I look forward to seeing how I can push these to the limit and, um, and, and, and find out where, where the next uh, weakness is. But right now in my driving ability, um, these are spot on for me. So it's 10 out of 10 for performance. Street comfort, I'm, put, I'm giving this a not applicable just because I'm sacrificing street comfort for performance. The truth is though, if you, do, are look, if you are looking for street, then maybe go for the street version of the same versus track. Durability, this is a big question. Um, I'm not sure how long they're gonna last, so maybe I'll come back and do a long-term test on these. 
the truth is though given the price even if they don't last then i'm not really going to be too upset if i'm into a three thousand dollar coilover set then durability is much more important should also note that these can be serviced in the usa thank you very much for the review please click like subscribe if you're looking for more reviews and comment below on your own personal experience love to hear from you